What's up, Gorilla Nation? It is Relentless here, bringing you yet another Division 2 video. If you happen to be new to the channel, or you're just enjoying the content, then please be sure to ground and pound that like and subscribe button. Also, reach up there, trickle the bell, and turn on post notifications, so that way you never miss a live stream or a video that is uploaded. Well, it is reset day, and currently the vendors have all reset. First, we're going to start with the Dark Zone vendor here, where I'm currently at, and then we'll move on to the rest of them. How to access um, the Den of Thieves, you can go over the each individual dark zone and you'll see on the right hand side of the screen it'll say at the bottom thieves and vendor available and then all you have to do is go in and lock pick some of the boxes at uh, landmarks and also hit the little uh, white rogue status boxes on the side of walls till you reach 100 percent and then go to the white door what's up dude all right currently he has the swap chain mp7 with vindictive perfect allegro and protected deploy an ongoing directive holster with 3.5% crit chance, 29,355 health. A, a true patriot backpack at 6% crit damage, 19% skill haste, 6727 health, and of course, vital. We have a hardwired holster with a 404 skill power and 8% crit chance. Then we have some Negotiator's Dilemma knee pads at 2,791 armor regen. And then we have a tip of my dick, I mean the tip of the spear knee pads um, at 5% crit chance. And then we have some aces and eights mask at 34% damage to elites and then 2.5% crit chance. Next, we have a carbine 7 with overflowing, distance, and rooted. The model 700, it also has ranger, stable, and transmission. Uh, Damon Buster's chest piece with 5.5% crit hit chance, 18,262 health, and 8% weapon damage. With insulated, 30% has protection, and of course, a defensive and offensive ma uh, mod slot. Uh, if you want to run a three-piece DNH and want to say you've got some suck-me-off gloves or something other than, you know, running the same old Fenris Berserk chest piece, then you could put on something like this and then go with insulated. You never know. It could be uh, a nice little crit build in the works there. But in any case, moving on. Overlord knee pads with 5% total armor, self-adjusting, and offensive mod slot. Then we have a defensive mod for cell with 4% total armor, 1670 armor, and then 3% protection from elites. And then uh, we have a chem launcher utility mod with 25.6% radius. All right, now on to the rest now, of the vendors. Now, we'll I, to you. I told you, when you <laughs> if you ever come over here with me, not to be hitting on my chick. All right, you just, just stand back, take your stranger danger elsewhere. She's mine. All okay. right, so you here ready? we are at Mendoza's. And typically where I find uh, the snitch, if you need, want to know his location, there'll be a tree right here on the front right of the Lincoln Memorial. Or you can find her over here, over the snitch over here uh, in between the trees on the right-hand side of the Lincoln. Or I just fast travel up here to the Truman Safe House, go out the west side of the building, and then right up on the top of this hill, there will be an orange crate up here, and it'll be right along the back of it. Those are the three main areas that I find the snitch. Just meet him, he'll reveal the location to Mendoza, and she is currently over here at the castle. So let's check out my chick and uh, see what she's got. Yeah, don't worry, baby, I'll protect you. He, he left the room. Now show me your goodies. She has the Tabula Rasa, uh, which is the light machine gun, the L86 with perfectly steady handed, Allegro, and protected deploy. An Alp Summit backpack with 8% crit damage, 17% skill haste, perfect tech support uh, for all you skill builds out there. Killing by active skills and explosives grant 30% skill damage for 10 seconds. Next, we have an ongoing directive holster, 5.5% crit hit damage, and 29% skill haste. Next, we have a true patriot backpack. On this one, we have 4% crit hit chance, 15,506 armor, 20% skill haste, and hard hitting. Next, we have some hardwired knee pads. They have 21% skill haste on them. And next, we have a ongoing directive mask with 17% skill haste, 8,551 health on kill. Next, we have uh, a pair of tip of my dick, uh, I mean spear, uh, Cassie, shh, don't be telling any people about that. 8% uh, crit hit chance, and then, of course, moving on, we have aces and ace gloves with 3% pistol damage and 7% shotgun damage. Enhanced AUG A3P, 22.3K uh, with my build with preservation and distance, uh, custom M870 MCS shotgun with perpetuation 
accurate and protected deploy. Next, we have an Overlord Armaments chest piece with 16,591 armor, 245 skill power, 7.5% crit chance with a destructive. Next, we have some Wyvern knee pads with Entrench and 298 skill power. We have a utility mod with 100 skill power, 1.5% explosive damage, and 3% grenade damage. And next, we have a Chem Launcher mod with 35% duration. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to sit here and fend off Gary from my chick a little while longer, and then I'm going to take her to the house. But I hope you enjoyed the inventory of the DZ and also Mendoza. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you fudging later. Now, baby, let's go uh, raise the roof, shall we? Let's raise the roof.